Good news for Cure Wing fans, especially little boys who like Hirogaru Sky Precure and are living in Japan or any other place in the world that are able to afford this. We are getting a Cure Wing pre tune release. Hello everyone, it's Lel, and in this video we're going to talk about the amazing news we got today in which Cure Wing is getting his costume released. Kids are going to be able to buy Cure Wing's costume, dress up as Cure Wing, and play, pretend as they are Cure Wing. This is amazing news, this is really, really gorgeous, but the story behind it is kind of a sad story, in which we're going to cover in this video. But before we start covering the actual story, let's talk a little bit about Cure Wing's release, Cure Wing's merchandise release. Uh, so this is the announcement that we're going to have Cure Wing's costume being released in the pre tune line. And they're, they're going to be released in winter 2023, so later this year in Japan. The pre-orders, I think, are already up, I'm not sure, or they're going to be up soon. You can already pre-order the one you want to, but they're going to be released a little later. Wing was released in Hirogata Sky Precure in April, but the bulk of his merchandise was only released in June when Cure Butterfly was released. So we had both Wing and Butterfly with lots of merchandise being released together. But there was a little difference between both of their merchandises, in which we're going to cover very fast now. So the first thing is that Wing has had something peculiar for him, which is the bird. The Burb plushie was specific to Cure Wing. Obviously, the others don't have a mascot form like he does. So he had this exclusive item. Uh, his pre corde is also a little different than others. In the pre corde line, we usually have this one up here. We usually have the civilian form and the Cure form. In Wing's case, we only have the Cure form and the bird. We don't have Tsubasa as a human. So this is obviously something specific for Cure Wing. But there were two items that are very uh, common for every cure, especially in recent seasons, which are which Butterfly had. So I'm going to use them as an example. The first one is the Pre-Tume. Pre-Tume Butterfly has her Pre-Tume costume. It was released together with the bulk of the Butterfly merch and also the Style Doll. Style Dolls are very, uh, uh, very popular it, it's a very popular line of merchandise inside the Precure universe, and Butterfly had her. And this is a very sad thing, because especially for collectors who want to collect like the full Hirogato Sky Precure line, because, I mean, they are not going to be able to have the full team, because Cure Wing isn't available. Those dolls, they use a specific body mold, and this body mold is what is considered to be a female body. So if they wanted to release Cure Wing... They would probably have use. They would probably have to use another mold. They wouldn't be able to use the same mold as they use for the girls, uh, which is uh, something that we've been discussing in live streams. This is probably one of the reasons why Kirwing doesn't have uh, a uh, style doll of his own. But this is obviously uh, our opinions as looking at at the merchandise and how they release things. There was never really an announcement or anything like that concerning the style dolls. But then, what happened is that, yes, Wing unfortunately does not have, or did not have, or actually he doesn't have a pre costume of his own. But his inclusion in the show is something very new. It's fresh, it's something beautiful, it's something pretty, finally having a boy inside a Precure season. And this has obviously picked a lot of interest from very young boys who are big fans of Hirogato Sky Precure. So something kind of sad happened, and um, let's talk about it now. Earlier this week, a mom tweeted that her son likes Hirogato Sky Precure. So there was going to be an event, and even though he was worried to go to this event because, you know, there's this concept concept that Precure is a show for girls and he was a little worried of going because he's a boy he felt encouraged by Cure Wing himself because Cure Wing is a boy so he thought 
I'm going to be welcomed into the event because the event uh, is a pre-cure event. Curing is a boy, I'm a boy, so I'm going to feel right at home, right? So what happened is that this mom took her son to the event. When, the, when they got to the event, they were enjoying themselves, but there was a little exhibit on the event, and in here I'm going to share the portion of the event that the mom was talking about. I'm not going to share their tweets here, even though they're public on Twitter. I don't want to share them on the video because, you know, I don't have permission. So this picture is from the event itself. And as you can see, the exhibit of the Cure costumes does not feature Cure Wing. So he was not featured. Those are the pre tomb costumes that the parents can buy to their children. The boy got very sad because Cure Wing was not featured there. So this boy, uh, you know, his heart, with his heart broken, he got a, a drawing, he went to a table, he started painting the Hiragata Sky Precure uh, drawing, but he was crying. He was so sad that he cried. He thought that he was going to feel right at home in the event, but when he got there, he wasn't welcomed as he thought he would. That's a very sad thing, but this tweet got super popular, and both Cure Wing and Pre-Tube got into trending topics on Twitter. Uh, I don't know if they're called trending topics anymore, because so many things are changing. <laughs> but, you know, uh, lots of people started talking about it, started boosting the original tweets from the mom, and, you know, it seems that Bandai and Toy and whoever's responsible really got the message right and decided to do something. So there are two things happening at the same time. The first one is the announcement of the pre costume. So if you're a parent, you can buy this for your children. Uh, as I said, uh, this is going to be released in winter in Japan, but I think that the pre-orders start in September. So you can already pre-order uh, your pre tube next month, starting next month. It's going to be released a little later. But apart from that, there is going to be an event. And this event was announced by the Pretty Store. So starting September 15, there is going to be an event in every Pretty Store in Japan. There's going to be a little photo studio in which people will be able to take pictures with all of the pre tombs including Cure Wing. So I feel like this is a way of Bandai, Toy, and the whole idea of the Precure franchise trying to do right, to do it right by that boy that suffered by Cure Wing not being included because he felt excluded as well. The only boy in that season not being included made him feel excluded. So I feel like this is a way of the franchise trying to make it right by not only that boy, but all the other little boys who might be feeling the same or who might feel the same in future events. So let's change that. Let's make it different. Let's make a difference. Let's make it, let's make it different. Let's make a difference. So this is what's been announced as of now. And this has made me very happy because honestly, when you think about Cure Wing, it's such a great inclusion inside the franchise. And I have been a Precure fan for a long time. And I have never really advocated for boy cures because I personally uh, never really cared about the idea. When I was a young boy, I was able to project myself in kids' shows, in the shows that I watched, in girls, in girl characters, you know. But it's been a long time. I've been a kid a long time ago. Times have changed, and the kids nowadays, they want to see themselves on screen. They want to feel that they are there. And I think this is such an important step that Precure has took. You know, I feel like 
This is really a huge thing. I feel like Precure is a, a show that's very important for so many reasons, and one of them is... I don't, I don't know if this is intentional or not, but at the end of the day, I don't think it matters. But Precure is always showing that femininity can be strong. Femininity is power, you know? You don't have to change your cute ways to be powerful. You don't have to change your kind ways to be powerful. And this is a message that's very powerful for girls, but this is also a very important message for boys to learn. Because I feel like uh, as femininity is seen in society as weak, as fragile, as something to be protected, as something uh, that does not have power of its own, it can feed onto the idea of toxic masculinity. So if you are a little boy growing up with the idea that femininity is strong, it's also powerful, it's a great philosophy to have in life. You don't have to be feminine. Cure Wing isn't a feminine boy, you know? But he shares the space with very feminine girls who are powerful, who are defeating monsters, who are fighting for their dreams, who are fighting for their philosophies. And they stand on equal footing every time. And that is such a beautiful thing for little kids to learn. Boys, girls, and, you know, all the gender non-conforming kids, all, all types of kids, you know. It's a great message, not only for kids, for everybody. But let's think about uh, what matters here, which is the, the public that is being focused by Hirogaru Sky Precure. I'm a very big Precure fan. You all know how much I love this show. But this show isn't made with me in mind. It's made with kids in mind. So what I want, at the end of the day, doesn't really matter. What matters is that what is, is what kids are longing, is what lessons kids have to learn, is the, the uh, entertainment that kids need to have. And it's very nice that this season has such a powerful message. And I feel like Cure Wing is able to bring this message in a very, in a, in a stronger way. And I'm very happy that Toy, that Bandai and whatever, it doesn't matter, is listening and is taking into account everything that's been going on and the way the little boys are feeling those feelings are valid and i'm very happy that uh we're able to look at a little boy crying and not think well this is ridiculous no we're validating his feelings and that is so nice we're validating those this little boy who is crying because he's not being able to become the character that he loves in the show he is not being welcomed by the show he loves so much. So it's so nice that we have this uh, philosophy right now. And I'm loving that Toy, or whoever is behind it, is, you know, announcing this and is paying attention to what really matters at the end of the day. So I'm very happy. Very, very happy. Obviously, we need more in Precure, you know, we need more. Elena was a step in the right direction, definitely. When we look at the, the style dolls, as we were talking about earlier, Elena is probably the only one who has a different, uh, probably the mold is the same, but the color of the skin is different. So we need more. We, we had Elena in 2019, Kira with Start Winkle, Dark Skinned Cure, gorgeous. Amazing. We love and stan Curisoleil. We are... You guys know how much I love Curisoleil. I'm a very big fan of her. I love Elena. But we need more. We need more dark-skinned cures. We need more body diversity in Precure. We need more little boys in Precure. We need disabled people in Precure. You know, we need different representations. Yes, because those kids that are watching the show are gonna be happy seeing themselves on screen. I'm not talking about me. I'm not talking about other people that share the same age as me. No, I'm talking about little kids who will see themselves on screen and be happy and feel welcomed and feel embraced by the show. And this is definitely something we need more and more of. 
but let's enjoy those little moments, you know? Let's enjoy those little victories because this is a victory, I feel like. You know, Cure Wing having this, little boys being able to play and dress up as Cure Wing, it's amazing. And obviously, I, I know that we're talking about a capitalist show to sell toys. I know. But, you know, there's another side to this, which is very important and we need to acknowledge. And those, you know, those moments make me feel very happy to be a Precure fan. Because when I saw the, the story about the little boy, it made me really sad. It made me like, oh no, this is such an awful, this must be such an awful feeling that this boy is, is having right now. Not feeling welcomed into a place you love so much must, it, it's awful. We know how that feels. It's awful. But I hope that little boy is super happy. And I hope his mom is able to take him into a pretty store to take a picture of the pre-tune of Cure Wing. I really, really hope that she can afford it, that she's able to, that she has the time to. I really, really hope so. Anyways, this is it for now. Are you going to buy the Cure Wing pre-tune? Because we can all buy those costumes. You know, they don't fit us. I mean, they might fit. Some of us, but they don't fit me, definitely don't. But you can buy them if you'd like to support Cure Wing in a way. This is one of the ways you can do that. Anyways, babies, this is it for now. Just want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinema channel. If you are a member, thank you very much for your support. If you've watched up channel, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye!